So I was given this Naga pickle at my local restaurant, I Naga in West Wickham, and it came from their kitchens and they told me that this is hell fire in a jar. And while I was in the restaurant, I put just the tiniest drop in my Harai chicken curry and it nearly blew my head off. Now we're not doing a Naga curry today, we're doing a lovely chicken salon which is medium hot in strength. But I do want to taste this in the curry, but I'm not going to taste it. I think we need Big John back and to see whether his asbestos tongue can take this hellfire in a jar. Let's bring John on. <laughs> I'm here now. Oh my God, it worked. I didn't know I had magic powers. <laughs> So John, listen, do you remember when we went to the Indian restaurant and I told you that they gave me this? Yeah, yeah. This Naga yeah. pickle. Um, we're going to do a salon today. Do you think you'd try it? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Have you got good health insurance? <laughs> this is no, real. I mean, yeah. this, this makes uh, Mr Naga look like strawberry blancmange. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, so we're going to try this at the end of the recipe. Okay. I'll bring you back then, yeah? Yeah, sure. Right, off you go. Oh. Enjoy the show. Mm. Welcome back to Al's Kitchen. I've been away for a month and I've missed you guys like mad. I've been thinking about what curry to do next and I'm gonna do one of the country's favorites, it's chicken salon. Now this curry has been disappearing off menus all over the place, but I'm gonna bring it back to the channel today, cooked the nice BIR way, the hybrid fashion. That's the 30 minute series that I've been doing the past few months where you can cook Indian restaurant curries at home in 30 minutes. I know it was one of my favorites I used to order all the time with king prawns, chicken or lamb. And that's exactly what you can do with this curry today. What am I drinking? I'm gonna get myself half a pint off the pump. There we go, why go to the pub when you can bring the pub to home? Cheers everyone. Right, doing things a little bit differently this time by not telling you the amounts of the ingredients because they will be written in the description box below. Screenshot copy and paste, whatever you're using, phone or laptop, and just go shopping and get all the ingredients. But I'll tell you what we've got in this curry. We've got black pepper, cinnamon stick, cardamom pods, mango chutney, garlic paste, or garlic and ginger paste. These are the frozen blocks, use fresh if possible, but frozen will do. I would not use the stuff from a jar. It's got preservatives in it, namely citric acids in the form of vinegar, and it will just not make the curry taste very nice. We've got fennel powder, uh, kasuri methi, um, tomato puree mixed with a little water so it pours nice and easy in the curry. We've got basar mix powder or mix powder or curry powder. Choose one of those, I've gone with the basar, it's at the dogs. We've got hot chilli powder, two teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder for the redness. We've got salt, We've got four tablespoons of coconut milk powder. We're also gonna add a splash of Worcester sauce. And just for that extra level of decadence, I'm gonna be pouring in just a little amount of coconut milk to get those uh, coconut fats into the curry to make it look gorgeous. Now our meat, we're using chicken. You can use pre-cooked lamb, king prawns, your choice. Now I'm going for chicken thigh, love chicken thigh. Um, I think it takes on the flavors of the curry really nicely or you can use chicken breast, but if you use breast, you'll add that later in the curry. Well, what about the base? Going for the same old method of boiling 600 grams of onions and to sweeten them up and take away that bitter taste, we're then draining the water. We're then keeping 500 ml of the water as a stock and that's gonna become our base. Here are the onions. Look at that beautiful, silky smooth onion base. Oil, I'm using 150 ml of olive oil because it's healthier. But use what you like, use veg oil if you like, but I'm sticking with the olive oil. Right, let's get the first stage going by turning on the gas and in goes the oil. You know, a lot of people say to me, oh, you can't use olive oil in a curry. I've tested it loads of times. You can't really tell the difference. And because we're not cooking at such intense high heat as you would with your regular BIR curries, the oil is not going to degrade in any way, so therefore it's not going to basically become um, bad for your health. Right, so the first thing that goes in is the woody spices. So the piece of cinnamon and our cardamom pods. Now this is amazing. People keep saying to me, which is better, these hybrid curries uh, where you're 
blending the onion in this way or the traditional BIR where you make a base gravy. I would say to you they're almost the same because with a base gravy you're pre-making the gravy with all of the ginger, garlic, onions and spices. Here we're doing the onion but the spices are going in afterward. So the end result is very very similar but the trade-off is time. It's going to take you two hours just to make a base gravy whereas this once you've prepped these uh, few ingredients it's going to take you 30-40 minutes. So it depends how you want to spend your time. And even once you've uh, made your base gravy, it's going to take you uh, 10 minutes to make each individual curry. These curries produce four at a time, as I'm demonstrating in this large, large pot. Now with this pot, people do ask me where do I get it. I get it on Amazon. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Right, so we're going to divide this curry up into three stages of 10. For those that love the 30 minute series, you're going to know the process. So these onions are going to cook for 10 minutes to sweeten them. So I'm going to stick 10 minutes on the clock, cook these onions down, and I'll be back in a jiffy. While we're waiting for that, why don't you go onto Facebook and check out my group called The Secret Curry Club. It's a club with well over 140,000 members sharing their photos, tips and tricks, asking for advice, whether that be what pots and pans to use, what condiments to use, and where are the recipes for the particular curry that you may like. Go and join it, it's totally free and it's an amazing place to be. You know it makes sense, you can thank me later. Okay, so we've got around two minutes left on the clock until our first 10 minute is complete and now we're going to add the ginger and the garlic or the garlic paste whatever you chose it doesn't really matter what you use it's just easier if you go with one ingredient like just the garlic then it's perfectly fine that's right so we are nearly completed the first stage and I can hear you thinking already yeah, already. It smells amazing. I know it's just onions, ginger and garlic with just a couple of woody spices. But it smells amazing. This pot's amazing as well. Look, nothing sticks. Absolutely nothing. It's like made of space age material. And I love the higher walls and the vast amount of working space. Right, now the first stage is nearly complete. The second stage is the curry paste mixture stage. So we're going to make a curry paste, a little bit like you do when you make Thai curries. We've got all these lovely aromatics to go in here. Right, so that's completed the first stage. Let's turn the heat right down low. It's really important you do this because we're going to be putting in the dry spices and we don't want them to burn. So now we're going to make our curry paste. So in goes the basar mix, the two chilli powders, that's the hot and the Kashmiri. We've got the fennel powder, the black pepper, and the coconut milk powder. Right, let's get all that in there and make the paste. Now, it's gonna be obviously very, very dry. So mix all that round. And the oil that's mixed with the onion is gonna infuse with those spices and they're going to then release their own oils into the paste. That's it, get that all mixed through nicely. Don't have to cook this for any length of time. I mean the pan is red hot already. So that's our masala spice paste. Get all the lumps of the coconut powder out. Right, now we're going to add our tomato paste. Now this finishes off the masala paste. There's your masala there. Don't you just love cooking? You can just escape the world, all your worries and troubles, and just get lost in the pot basically. It's a win-win. So that's the therapy, and the reward is when you get to eat it. And there could be a third reward, and the third reward would be when you give it to your friends and family, and they're like, oh my God, this guy, him can cook. That's it, so that's the masala done there. Isn't that beautiful? That's it, now it's safe. 
get rid of that lump to turn the heat up to a medium. So then goes all of that chicken thigh and give that a good turn in. Cover the chicken into that paste. Ah, oh, salon. It's been so long since I've had this in a restaurant. It's so, if you love Madras, which is like one of the most popular curries on my channel, you're gonna absolutely love this curry. Don't have to stir too much. And then to finish that off, we're gonna add the onion stock. Right, now dissolve the paste into the water. And this is gonna make a lovely uh, consistent body. It's gonna have a lovely gravy. And we're gonna start that cook off with the second stage of 10 minutes. For this one, we can put the lid on. That's the second stage finished. 10 minutes complete. Let's check out this beauty. Three, two, one. Let the steam clear. Oh God, that does look amazing. Oh, look at that, absolutely beautiful. Loads of gravy in there. You'll notice that the first stage was with the lid off. The second stage was with the lid on. Now we're gonna keep the lid off to finish the curry. So what I'm gonna add now is the mango chutney. That little bit of sweetness Kasuri methi, salt, splash of Worcester sauce, splash of lemon. Right, so now we're already into our third stage, our finishing off stage, the last 10 minutes. So let's stick another 10, this is the final 10. So quick, there's not much you can do in 30 minutes, I'm telling you that now. Well, just for that added little bit of decadence, I'm just gonna add an optional, so if you haven't got this, don't worry, an optional splash of coconut milk. Absolutely beautiful. So let's cook that down for the last 10 minutes. And the 30 minutes is the perfect amount of cooking time for the chicken thigh. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, I've absolutely, literally, comprehensively, astoundingly, amazingly, supremely thought of everything. So you don't have to, to get cooking. This is gonna be amazing. See you in the final 10 minutes. Just to remind you that I've been a guest on my first ever podcast in Undercurrent Stories on Spotify and Apple Music. During that interview, you'll be able to find out where it all began for me, why I'm into curries, what my favorite curry is, and more importantly, the secrets to BIR curries, that's British Indian restaurant curries, and what do I think about those curries as opposed to authentic. So go check out the podcast, the link is in the description box below, and come tell me on my social media what you thought of it. Are there any revelations? Check it out. Right, let's get back to this curry. There we go. The curry is complete. Let's check it out using LED cam. So you can see the colors as they really are. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing. There you go, chicken salon in 30 minutes serving four adult portions. Can you find better on YouTube? If you can, let me know. I might pinch their recipe. Right, so let's plate this baby up. Absolutely beautiful. So now I'm gonna portion up John's portion and um, he's gonna have this killer hellfire naga in it. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon in the bottom of the pot. I'm telling you now, a teaspoon is gonna be more than enough. And um, let's see how he gets on with this. I do fear for him. Garnish with a little bit of uh, coriander, 
like he's going to care after this hits his tongue. And uh, the same Owl's Kitchen Lemon Twist. Now it's time for the taste test. <clears throat> oh, it's good to be back and I really enjoyed making that. But I think we need to bring John back before we do the taste test. So after three, two, one. Oh my <laughs> God, it worked for a second time. Yep. Well, John, so listen, one of these is yours, this one. Right, I've okay. got the bigger bowl, but there's the same portion in it. Yeah. And I've got this, not gonna lie to you, I've got this chicken, this uh, naga chili in it. And um, I don't know what it's gonna do to you. So can I just get you to sign this um, disclaimer, yeah? yeah? Just sign there on the dotted line. Oh, right. You don't need to read it. It basically just covers me in the event of death. Right. Don't want, <laughs> I don't want people coming after me for all my YouTube money. I've worked bloody hard for this. So anyway, who's gonna go first? Did you want a drink? Well, I'd say you, you got a beer there. Where's mine been? Um, well, we'll get yours if you can complete this. That can be like a little prize. Do you like my knife? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. You know who got me that? No, no. Tony. Tony, really? Keeps sending me gifts. Well, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. It's um, Damascus steel. And look at that lovely handle yeah, there. It's all yeah. like pearlescent. It's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah. Get your dirty hands <laughs> off. Right, yeah, anyway. Just do with one of those. Yeah, I'll give all you... All this work I've been doing here. You get paid <laughs> enough. Right, you go, and, uh, you go first. Me go first. And I'm going to watch your complexion very, very closely. Right. See how you go with it. How is it? Mm. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> That's your body saying, stop! Oh, blimey. Come on, carry on. Let me have a go first. Hey, go on, you don't try yours. Mmm, look at that. That's lovely. Do you know what? I've been wanting a curry all week. Mmm. Oh my god, that's lovely. It mm. That's beautiful. Mm. Oh my god. I mean, I know I sound the same in every video, but John, these curries are just so good, aren't they? Mm. I mean, you have literally gone up one degree. Well, it's nothing, is it? No, but a degree's a degree. <laughs> Can you taste an agua in it? The lady said, this is like ridiculously hot. Yeah. I mean, she gets the chilies locally from <laughs> From, from some, but. <coughs> you want a drink? Where's me lower there? What do you want, water? Yeah, so she says she gets these um, chilies locally. Um, I don't know whether they're Carolina Reaper, Deaf Scorpion, I don't know what they are, but she says this stuff is absolutely lethal. I said, oh, I use Mr. Naga. And she was like, oh God, that stuff's tame compared to this. Now you did the Mr. Naga, how's yeah. this comparing on two mouthfuls? Well, it's on a different scale, this. Is it? Yeah. Don't move. You've gone up two degrees. <laughs> Do you want some more Naga in it? No, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you know, I only put a teaspoon in it. A whole teaspoon? Mm. Yeah, you've gone up, you're just nearly on three degrees. Oh. Anyway, should we wrap it up or do you want to carry on going? Is it really like burning your tongue? Mm. While John finishes his curry off, I will be back soon. I love you and leave you. Next time, we're going to be cooking, well, I'm going to be cooking butter chicken, Indian restaurant style. And so make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Leave your comments in the description box below. Don't forget to join the Secret Curry Club. I'll see you on there. Great club, biggest in the UK. <laughs> You can get inspiration from there and look at everybody else's design, I mean, masterpieces. And um, it's going to be amazing. Are you going to lead us out? <laughs> Could have done with being a bit hotter, but... Uh... Really? <laughs> All right, then. Thanks for inviting me. Make sure you do this curry. Watch the next video. <coughs>